November 25th. Well, hi, friend. I'm Robin Mead. And this is what's going on today. A record number of people are... In a surprising move, the Secretary of the Navy is out after allegedly proposing a backdoor deal with the White House over the fate of a convicted Navy SEAL. Congressman Devin Nunes, the Republican who led the party through the impeachment hearings, may have been involved in the effort to get dirt on former Vice President Joe Biden from Ukraine. It's... Now, Congress, congressional travel records show that Nunes and aides went to Europe last year, but the records do not specify that they went to Vienna. As for the Ukrainian prosecutor, Malone won Best Rap Album at the AMAs last night, and he had a big night, but people weren't talking about his win, but what he said at his acceptance speech or mm -hmm. in it. Good morning. Mm, at the end of it, it was like, what? I don't know what that means. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, Post Malone added a random confession at the end of his speech. Listen. Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is out of the hospital, but she did have some chills and fever that sent her to the hospital over the weekend. And her chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, with more on what you can tell as a doctor yourself in terms of, well, first off, she, she went to get help somewhere at a center where they then transported her to John Hopkins. That's right, and they did that by ambulance. Uh, and, and Hopkins is much more familiar with their care. Like it, but remember, she had a stent place for this pancreatic cancer. Sometimes you can develop bacterial infections around the pancreas and in the abdomen. Uh, again, we, d we don't know. And they said that she had flu-like symptoms that took her to the hospital initially. I love her um, statement that she says, Earlier this year, she said she's going to stay on the job as long as she can do it full steam. I was okay this last term. I expect to be okay next term. And after that, we'll just have to see. Of course, it's of great interest because President Trump has um, had the opportunity to uh, name two That's right. uh, justices on the court. And people are watching her and her age and hoping that she is continuing to do well. She, she still lifts weights. Yeah, the RBG workout. I love that. You it's know, a thing. Along, just doing those weights, push-ups, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I keep doing it, too. I'm getting older. <laughs> so You're far from 86, but I, I like know, but you don't want to get there. I like that RBG inspired you that she way. Does. Yeah. <laughs> you know who else does? Michigan Wolverines. We'll see about that on Saturday. Oh. Who'd you guys play this past uh -oh. week? Indiana. Okay, we how'd that well. go? We, we did okay. Okay, We, we okay. won. All right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you. You just hold that thought. You just hold. What's yeah. your record? What number are you? Uh, Where do you stand wait, in the CFP? Those are two different questions. That's right. I don't say the M word this week. I am a... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no M's allowed oh, in rivalry week. Right. Dr. Sanjay Gupta. See, we can all get along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> a 911 dispatcher said, In this season of giving, we love to spotlight foundations or charities that you may not know about as you make your donation decisions. And Melissa volunteers at a group called Horizons Atlanta. Yes, I do. What do they do for kids? Horizons Atlanta does so much for students and for their family. So near and dear to my heart. I'm so glad we were able to share. Yeah. Thank you. All the, the different community. things that you do as a tutor there, too. Yeah. So if people want to um, donate, mm -hmm. they can do that at that website. Go to the website. Yes, and you can find all the information you need to get It's involved. pretty clear where the money is used. Yeah, yeah sure is. Thank you. You're welcome. So another health scare.